Hi, this is Mrs. Knopf, and today we are going to continue working in our method book on the flute with line 29, rest stop. So we have something new in this line. We have quarter rests. So the squiggly looking lines that are sprinkled throughout um, all the measures, those are quarter rests, and we're going to address those in a, in a little bit. So everything else is review. At the beginning, as always, we have our treble clef, followed by our key signature. We have two flats. The first flat is a B flat located on the third line, tells us that all Bs are flat. And then the next one is an E flat located on the fourth space, and it tells us that all E's are played as E flats. So the two flats in the key signature tell us that we are in the key of B flat. Then we have a time signature. We are in 4 4 time. The top number tells us the number of beats per measure. The bottom number tells us the value of the whole note, if we had one. Even though we don't have one, we can use that information to figure out the value of everything else. So if we have a whole note that gets four beats, half of a whole is a half, half of four is two, so the half note at the end gets two beats. And then half of a half is a quarter, half of two is one, so all of the quarter notes and the quarter rests get one beat each. So it's important to count and keep up with where you are. So now we're gonna go through and figure out our notes. We start with a quarter note D on beat one. So thumb, two, three, one, two, three. Beat two is a quarter rest. Beat three, we switch everything out for C. So C is just the first finger and the pinky on the foot joint. And then beat four is another rest. The next measure, we switch back to the D, then a C, add the thumb and first finger for B flat, and then we rest. Measure three, we start with an E flat. So two, three, don't forget the thumb. One, two, three, pinky. That's beat one. We have two quarter rests back to back, so you rest for two and three. Then lift the pinky for the D on beat four. Next measure, we rest on beat one. Then we switch to an F, thumb, one, two, three, one, pinky. And then we work our way down, E flat, and lift the pinky for D. Then we go to the next line. We start with a quarter rest. Then we have an E flat, pinky is down. Lift the pinky for the D, then another quarter rest. The next measure, we have an arpeggio. So we're skipping from line to line. So the first note in measure six, is a B flat, thumb in one, one in pinky. Then we switch to the D. So everything is down except for the index finger, this pinky, and this pinky. Then we switch to an F. So we put this finger down, put our pinky down, and lift these two fingers for that F. Beat four and beat one of the next measure are both quarter rests. We play that F again. Then we switch to an E flat. So everything is down but this first finger and your pinky. Lift the next pinky for the D, switch everything out for the C, F, and then a half note B flat. So now we're gonna start each note with a T sound and we're gonna play through rest stop. I hope you're able to play along and keep up. Here we go. One, two, ready. If you're having trouble, that's fine. What you can do is slow it down and work on small sections. But I hope this helps, and we'll see you next time.